If you'd like to see how I'm going to transform this plain bottle of wine into this lovely glittery blue bottle, keep watching this video. Hey guys, I'm actually headed to a 40th birthday party last minute like always. And I'm going to use this Sutter Home Fruit Infusions bottle. It's tropical pineapple. Um, the size of this bottle is like huge. But it is 1.5 liters. So this is a large, very large bottle. I'm going to be using some Mod Podge glue. You're going to need some, um, some sponges. The favorite color of the birthday girl, from what I hear, is blue. So I'm gonna use this very pretty, um, it's called Dark Blue Fine Holographic Glitter. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this started like right away. I'm gonna squirt, uh-oh. I'm gonna squirt some Mod Podge right on this little lid here and I'm gonna get started, you guys. Okay, so I'm just gonna take my time with my sponge brush and just go around the label um, I don't do any masking. Um, if you're, if you'd like to do masking for a more um, perfected look, then feel free to do so. And I will be covering up the back label. So I'm just going to put on a nice amount of glue and make sure it's nice and flat, so that the glitter can lay as flat as possible. And you can leave the label on the back on if you want to. Sometimes I do but um, I just don't really think it's a big deal to leave it on, so I'm just gonna go ahead and cover it up. Then you just go ahead and pour on your glitter. And I like to have a big jug of glitter like this, because when I have those smaller ones, sometimes I can kind of run out. So, and I got this glitter from papermart.com. They sell like bubble mailers and like um, paper mailing things, but they also have an area for glitter. So check that out. I don't even know how I, I just randomly came across them some years ago, at least probably about three or four years ago. And I've done a few projects with these glitters and they last. You really, you know, it really does um, spread pretty far. This is not an extra fine glitter, but it is a fine glitter. And this color is like super cute. Also, if you have an extra brush, this is like a nice fluffy um, paint brush that I use to dust off um, when I'm doing my canvas paintings. This really comes in handy. I usually have like a little blush, an old makeup br blush brush, something fluffy and gentle, just to knock off the excess glitter. So I always have this when I'm using glitter. Um, it just comes in handy. So you can knock away what's really not there so you know where to add, where you need to add it. And then of course, you, do, you wanna make sure that you can preserve as much of your glitter as possible. So I'm just gonna continue to add on the, the Mod Podge glue. That's the name of the glue that I'm using. Just in case you fast forward it to this point, I am using Mod Podge glue. And this is the gloss uh, Mod Podge glue. And I'm going to do, uh, this is the first layer of glitter. Then you just take your time and you just go ahead and shake on a hefty amount. Make sure you don't leave any of that glue exposed. Cover all of that up. And this bottle was like super heavy, you guys. So you just make sure you just cover all of the glitter, um, of the glue up. And so far, I don't know if it's the color or what, but it's a nice full coverage. It looks really, really good so far. So just take your time, you guys. This is the first coat of glitter. We'll go ahead and let that set and then put a second coat on. Okay, so I did let it dry at least about 15 minutes. I had it in front of a fan. Now, I was in a hurry, you guys. So I usually do let it dry maybe 30 minutes, maybe 45. You know, I may just stop and do something else around the house and come back in a whole hour or two, maybe a whole day went by. But I was in a hurry, so I kind of like cut it closer. So I did about 15 minutes, but it, it was blowing in front of a, uh, it was drying in front of a very high powered fan. 
So keep that in mind, you guys, because I know you all want to know how long did I let the first layer set. So I'd say 15 minutes because I was in a hurry. So I had already started adding um, the glue on. So I'm going now, I'm now going ahead and adding on my glitter. So I can go ahead and get this out the way. And again, I um, I think my finger bumped it. You can see at the top, it's like a little gash there. I'll just go ahead and, and go in and fix that. But this glitter is lovely. It is. And you can do any color you want. This this was, um, like I said, for a 40th birthday party I'm going to. This is the gift. Um, her favorite color is blue. But just think about it. Um, New Year's Eve is right around the corner. If you're having a cute little get together at your house or you want to give somebody something for um, the new year, this would definitely be a great gift to give someone. start to seal the glue. I'm going to seal the glitter. I like to use Tri Art liquid glass. Um, it's a really good product. I use it for multiple things. You don't have to, this is pretty expensive. This is about $65. I buy this big because I also do paintings and I like to use it with the crushed glass. So I have multi purposes for this, but I like the way it seals the glitter because to me it still has a little more shine than it would if I used Mod Podge. This isn't 100% dry in this one little spot here. I don't know why, but I have to get ready to like get out of here. So I just like to pour it on and just briefly spread it. So that's how I'm gonna do it. So you can go ahead and watch how I do this. This is just, it just works best for me to do it this way. Cause it's kind of like runny. Okay, so um, I'm trying to work as quickly as I can. And for me, like you see how it's kind of like just running down. For me, it works to pour it on like this. So that's the way I, I you know, just pull it on down, make sure it goes around the label. And I have this um, this diamond uh, rhinestone strip. I get the name of it mixed up, but I got it from Amazon. Um, it does come in about three different colors. It comes in like a rose gold color, it comes in gold, light pink. I'm gonna use some E6000 to attach that. I'm gonna cut the size that I need, and I'm just gonna go ahead and attach this on here. Um, just to give it a little bling because you know if I had more time I would actually probably take like a five millimeter rhinestone or maybe even some chunkier rhinestones and just go around that yellow area that's completely optional you can leave that blank and it's still fabulous or you can go and add glitter a different color glitter to that top part so this little uh, diamond strip um, bling strip um, whatever it's called it comes in handy so I'm almost finished you guys okay you guys here is the final finished result look at that full even coverage look how sparkly and pretty this very nice blue color is on this bottle and I want to say this took me um, maybe an hour or under you know you the longer you let it dry the better um, it pretty much probably dried on the way over riding to the place, but it did dry and it was very, very pretty and she absolutely loved it. She was like, oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. I love blue. And when she said that, that was music to my ears because I had asked her friend, um, her best friend actually, uh, what her favorite color was and of course she would know that information so to hear her say she loves blue I was like oh my goodness I was hoping you like it so you guys this is something that's very affordable I think this bottle was what 12 or 15 dollars something like that you throw some glitter on there a little um, diamond strip on there and you have a lovely lovely gift so thank you guys for watching this video give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it um, thanks again you guys bye bye Hello to all my subscribers. Hello to my new subscribers. Thanks again, you guys. And be sure to check out my playlist that I have with all of the wine glasses and liquor bottles. 
MyRoyalRadiance.com where we sell lip gloss, hand sanitizers, shoe charms, and much more. Use my coupon code royalbeauty 10 off for a special discount for my subscribers. Be sure to check out our website, CRTacticalDefense.com, where we sell in waistband gun holsters available in four different sizes. We also carry gun cleaning mats and much more. Use my special discount code VIBES, B I B E S, for my subscribers. And I finally started an Instagram for those of you who have been asking or interested. I'll start to post on there more. It's at Life is a Whole Vibe on Instagram. So go ahead and give that page a follow if you want to. Thanks again. Bye bye.